Talo Falava, Oloingo, Jordan Tavita, and this is my world. My conversation is energized. The revolution will be televised. Talo Falava, Oloingo, Jordan Tavita. I am Samoan. I come from a family of seven, always lived in Australia, and my hobbies are sleeping and eating. Singing began within my own living room. It was, you know, local afiafis and my dad saying, and then we would sing a song. Rose Meadow was probably a place where I found different types of music. And, you know, I, I went from singing Samoan songs within my living room to Samoan songs again within my church. And when I came to Rose Meadow Public School, yeah, like there was a lot of people that were singing and everything. And I think that's where it started uh, with music and, you know, what to do with your voice. Singing for me takes whatever comes out of my mouth, not only to the people that are listening, but to myself to a different place. I felt like whenever I used to sing, it was a message that just needed to be heard. The voice journey, ooh. Um, it was a pretty long one. Um, casting started uh, October 2021. I just love to sing and I wanted to sing. But nah, when I signed that application, there was no thought that, oh, maybe I might make it to the grand final. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. Honestly, I just thought, am I even gonna turn a chair? That's, that was my initial thought. And I'm still shocked to this day that I had four chair turns. You're My coach was Guy Sebastian. And honestly, he was actually a really genuine guy. Like on Australia Day, he had messaged me and was like, hey, what are you up to? And I was like, who's this? And not knowing, he was like, oh, it's Guy. And I was like, nah, that's not you. And then he FaceTime calls me. And I, meanwhile, I'm in the hotel in bed and I'm lying down and I have the phone and he's like, what's up, man? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I full had to like get up and everything and like, oh, hey man, like, sorry, I, I didn't think it was you. We organized for myself to go over to his house. And yeah, it was just, it was actually a really cool day. After the show, there's been so many opportunities that have come about. I mean, I just finished two shows in Melbourne uh, last weekend and now I've got a gig tomorrow. I've got one coming up at Penrith Panthers, so I'm just, yeah, busy schedule, just trying to keep up, I guess. Basically trying to find balance between, you know, having a life and sort of thinking that this could be a career that will be my life. So having to weigh out the options, you know, I still have a stable income, but I also love what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm currently writing some songs, so slowly getting into that. My new single is called 100 Years From Now. A couple from Melbourne had pitched the song to me. Shout out to the song store. Um, Barbara and Adi, they're just amazing people and they've helped me basically grow within an element that I'm only just getting used to. Probably the best advice that I could give is if you have a gift, trust in it, believe in it, take that leap of faith. There's always an opportunity out there just waiting for you to take the first step. So why not take it? Mm -hmm.